cores. Cores are like the brain cells of your computer's brain. One core can think about one thing at a time, kind of like trying to read a book while cooking noodles. Add more cores, and suddenly your computer can do both at once. Modern CPUs have multiple cores, 4, 6, 8, even 16, each handling a separate task. That's why your game runs smoothly while Chrome eats half your memory in the background. If your CPU were a kitchen, each core would be a separate chef. More chefs mean faster dinner, unless they all try to use the same stove. That's where smart coordination comes in. And that's why multi-core CPUs rule. Threads. Threads are the secret clones of each core. Imagine every chef suddenly learning to work with two hands instead of one. That's threading. Each core can juggle two tasks by splitting its attention between them. It's not true multitasking, more like switching between tasks so fast that it feels simultaneous. Intel calls this hyper-threading. AMD calls it simultaneous multi-threading. Same idea, fancy names. Threads make computers better at handling lots of smaller jobs, like running background apps while you're gaming. Think of it as having workers that drink way too much coffee and never stop multitasking. That's what gives your CPU its smooth, responsive magic. Clock speed. Clock speed is your CPU's heartbeat, how fast it ticks, thinks, and gets things done. It's measured in gigahertz, or billions of tiny pulses per second. Every tick is a moment where your CPU performs an action, like moving a file, calculating damage in a game, or loading your cat memes faster. Higher clock speed means more work per second, but also more heat, like running faster on a treadmill. Great for performance, terrible for sweat. Modern CPUs balance their speed automatically, slowing down to save power, or speeding up to handle heavy tasks. So while clock speed matters, it's not everything. It's the rhythm that keeps your CPU's world spinning. TDP. TDP stands for Thermal Design Power. But let's be real, it's just a fancy way of saying how hot this thing gets when it's working hard. It's measured in watts, like a light bulb, but instead of shining, it's screaming internally. A CPU with 65 watts TDP runs cooler and uses less power. One with 125 watts? It's basically a space heater that can play games. TDP helps you choose the right cooler and power supply, because if you pair a high TDP CPU with a weak cooler, you're basically hosting a barbecue inside your case. More watts mean more speed, but also more heat, noise, and possibly regret. Cache size. Cache is your CPU's secret stash of memory, the ultra-fast snack drawer it uses before running to the slower kitchen, your RAM. When your CPU needs data it uses often, it keeps it here, right next to its brain. Think of it like a student who keeps snacks within reach so they don't have to run to the fridge every five minutes. Cache comes in levels, L1, L2, L3, each a little bigger but slower than the last. It's tiny but mighty, the difference between instant action and hang on, let me think. Architecture. Architecture is the blueprint of how the CPU thinks. It's the difference between a medieval castle and a futuristic skyscraper, both built for living but totally different inside. Intel, AMD, and Apple all design unique CPU architectures that change every few years. These blueprints decide how instructions travel, how data moves, and how efficiently power is used. It's not just about speed, it's about smart speed. New architectures usually mean smaller, faster, cooler chips that do more with less. Think of it like upgrading from an old flip phone to a sleek smartphone. Same purpose, wildly better design. The art of architecture is invisible, but everything depends on it. 